show you how you can actually extend the EFI partition of your Hackintosh Mac or Windows. It, this will work on Windows and Hackintosh and Mac also. You can also delete, increase the EFI partition size and uh, this will help you to do a good your systems and of, of course open pro hackintosh and all the other like uh, microsoft windows also so let's get started it's a mac os you can see it's a hackintosh and uh, i'm running on latest picture 11.1 and uh, that's why my voice is so much distorting because it has some driver issues so sorry for that but you need a uh, paragon hard disk manager and uh, Paragon Hard Disk Manager 12 version will do the trick. So no worries about it's a free for 15 or 20 days. So just install this and this will also restart your system two or three times on latest 10.13 and above system from below I think it will go on. So after installing uh, just visit your security and privacy setting and allow the that app to install the extensions after installing the Paragon Hard Disk Manager just open it and uh, you can look here I have uh, R256 GB JPT partition uh, SSD so now I am gonna actually uh, I was very uh, low on partition at uh, EFI you can see now is 950 MB I will create the again and uh, remember one thing EFI partition you can only create up to 1 GB so 900 MB 950 MB is sufficient for you to allow all the external drivers from Hackintosh and all the systems so let's get started here is my EFI partition okay suppose it has a uh, low uh, 100 MB by default uh, so we're gonna I'm gonna delete this okay I'm gonna delete this I'm gonna apply the operation okay apply the operation close it okay so now officially I have no EFI partition present on my system so now I will create the EFI partition so like here we have 16 MB 104 104 MB actually this this thing will this thing is more clear than like okay so we have free partition like uh, 60 60 GB so let me create one I will create almost uh, 1 GB EFI partition now so create partition remember this is the very crucial part you have to like uh, this will not show you NTFS or any uh, FAT32 partition because we need FAT32 for EFI. So I will say, I'll suppose 950 MB, and uh, from here you can see FAT16 is enabled. And from here I will select FAT32. Uh, volume name is important, uh, capital letter EFI. Okay, so now. EFI and now the this is the main thing now put this icon change GPT type okay click on that and now from here you can select EFI system partition okay then click OK then click apply apply okay that's finished now we have the EFI partition 950 MB instead of 100 MB hope you will like that video and uh, you can let me know in comment section also so we can 